Welcome back fellow ServiceNow enthusiasts. In our previous tutorial, we explored the key elements of customer service management within ServiceNow. Today, we are diving even deeper into the CSM workflow. Now, I know that sometimes concepts can be a bit like pieces of a puzzle and it's important to put them together in a clear and cohesive way. So, in response to a viewer's request from our last tutorial, we are just going to do that. We will begin by breaking down the customer service flow and to make it crystal clear, we have got a diagram to help us visualize each step. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a solid grasp of how everything fits together from the initial customer contact to issue resolution. As I have previously mentioned multiple times, in the realm of customer service, it all begins with customer. Customer reach out to your organization through various channels. It can be a phone call, chat support, email or raising an enquiry through portal. These channels serve as their means of communication when they have questions, issues, requests or any inquiry. When a customer initiates contact, their query is routed to a customer service agent. These agents are the frontline support equipped with the knowledge and tools to address customer inquiries effectively. The CSM module automatically converts a submitted inquiry into a case. This case is assigned to an agent using assignment rule. I have already discussed these two things in my previous video. From here onwards, the agent will be responsible and will propose a solution which will resolve the case. If the customer's inquiry requires further attention or resolution that goes beyond simple troubleshooting or guidance, it evolves into a work order. This is a structured task or assignment that outlines the necessary steps for resolving the customer's issue or fulfilling their request. The creation of a work order signals the beginning of a structured process to address the customer's need efficiently. It ensures that the right actions are taken by the right individuals in a systematic and organized manner. So in this flow, it all starts with the customer's communication, is directed to a capable agent and then, if needed, results in the creation of a work order, a clear path towards resolving customer issue and delivering top-notch services. After that, we can see device connectivity. This marks the initial stage where devices or systems are continuously monitored and connected to a CSM solution. This proactive approach ensures that the health and status of these devices are tracked in real time. As devices communicate their status, events or incidents may occur. These could be anomalies, warnings or potential issues. Event management is the process of identifying and managing these events effectively. When an event represents a customer reported issue or request, it becomes an incident. These incidents are promptly identified and addressed within the CSM solution to ensure minimal disruption to the customer's experience. Sometimes, the resolution of incident requires change or repairs to be made. These changes are carefully implemented ensuring that they align with the best practice and they do not introduce new issues. This is done under change implementation and are done by the technicians of ServiceNow. These seamless flow from monitoring device connectivity to incident handling and the change implementation ensures that customer service remain proactive, responsive and effective. It's all about providing a smooth and uninterrupted experience for both customers and support teams.